Hi, welcome to another episode of Freezer Burns. You know, in my career of eating, some of my best experiences have come from banquets, from wedding banquets or maybe sports banquets, uh, even business banquets. Those are the best places to get a satisfying meal, great meat, great potatoes, great desserts, all that stuff. Banquets are where it's at. Uh, so imagine my surprise as I was in the freezer section today and I found a great deal on banquets. This is the banquet meatloaf meal. Gravy with meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and corn. And even better, these were eight for $10. So how can I get a great meal for less than $1.50? That's amazing. I'll tell you one thing. Uh, I, I got to see for myself. Is this worth it? Is a banquet meal really what it says it will be? Because if it's any indication of the quality of this photography, I'm in for a culinary treat. Let's put this in the microwave and see what we got going on. So once again, we're talking about the banquet meal, the meatloaf meal. Uh, never really knew that meatloaf was, uh, was two words, but um, this is a banquet. I want to say right here, it says serving suggestion, enlarge to show quality. Now, so I really want you to take a look at that quality. That's some yummy meatloaf. See that brown sauce on there? It's glistening. I mean, this, it, it's probably hit by the sun. Uh, and it's just, it's just radiating uh, yumminess. See how nice and rich that corn looks? And look at this white, fluffy potatoes. There's some nice, I, I think probably enhanced steam coming out of this meat and potatoes. On the flip side, it talks about banquet meals. Good, hearty family favorites. Now I'm going to drop this thing in the microwave. Here are the directions. Remove the film cover from potatoes. Microwave on high for three minutes. So uh, let's take this out of the box. Let's pop it on the plate and let's start removing some film. Here's the process of this banquet meal. First I'm going to remove the film cover from potatoes. Microwave on high for three minutes. Then step two, I'm going to take that fork. I'm going to stir those potatoes around, kind of mix it up. And then step three, I'm going to microwave an additional one and a half to two and a half minutes. Let stand for two minutes. Carefully remove as products will be hot. So here's, let's do step one. I'll open up that box. And here's what we got inside. Very compartmentalized. Got some ice crystalline going on there, but you know what? That's only going to... Uh, you probably melt a little bit as we drop that in the microwave. Now, here's the thing. You're supposed to remove the film from the potatoes. There's really, I was hoping there'd be some perforation. There really isn't. So it looks like I'm going to have to tear it and it's not going to be an exact science. Now, if I was really doing this up, I would take an X-Acto knife and I'd slice it right down here just to make it perfect. But you know what? When you're hungry, you might not have that X-Acto knife handy. So let's just rip this in place. I'm going to tear this back like this. It's kind of a, uh, a flaw that I'm exposing some of the corn and some of this yummy, yummy meatloaf. I'm going to do this like this. I'm going to drop it on the plate. And I'm going to pop it in the oven for three minutes. Right away, this film is kind of Rolling back. Set that for three minutes. Let's start that up. Okay, so as you can see, there's less than 10 seconds left. Got my trusty fork. When this thing dings, I'm gonna stir up that potato, pop it back in for another minute and a half. Wow, you can you hear that? That is sizzling. I'm gonna take this. Now this basically looks like ice chips floating around. It's not fully cooked. It's probably why I need to stir it up. Stirring it up. Sticking it back in for about a minute and a half. Hopefully after that, it'll all be done. Okay, so the minute and a half was out. I've taken it out of the oven. It says clearly, uh, let stand for two minutes. 
I've learned my lesson. If you refer back to episode one, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going to carefully remove as product will be hot. Now I'm going to pull this film back to show you. And I got to tell you, it smells ordinary and it looks disgusting. Uh, but it is a banquet. So I'm reserving judgment until I actually taste this. So I'm going to let this stand for about two minutes and then we'll, uh, we'll come back and see how it tastes. Okay, so I've let it uh, stand for about two minutes and uh, I have a bite here. One thing I'm going to show you is this is a, a piece, whoops, this is a piece of that meatloaf. It's really thin. Now, if I look back on something I kind of overlooked, I was so excited about the eight for ten dollars in the past. If you look at this, see how small, how big this corn kernel is in comparison to this? That's about accurate. Uh, it's really thin piece, maybe about an eighth of an inch in thickness. Uh, but here's the important thing. How does it taste? Because I told you before, it doesn't smell that great. This um, tastes like a mixture of what I would imagine dog food tastes like with a little bit of sand mixed in. Um, Yeah, you know, I like meat and all, but that's just not good. I'm going to try the potatoes and the corn. The corn is good. Corn is good. Um, the potatoes... Uh, potatoes have no taste on it at all. I recommend maybe dumping a couple squirts of ketchup in there, maybe a pat of butter, a lot of salt and pepper. I'm going to try the meatloaf again. Yeah. Um, it's the meatloaf's not. It's not too salty. It's basically very uninteresting. The fact that it's minuscule in size uh, doesn't even make it worth the money, in my opinion. Um, it's a small piece. The corn is good. The mashed potatoes, honestly, would be better off throwing them in one big bag and shaking it up like a shake and bake, and then uh, throwing it in a blender and drinking it up. Uh, it's basically not worth it. This is episode three of Freezer Burns, the banquet meatloaf dinner. Even if it's eight for $10, it's not worth your money. See you next time.